School zones will be starting back up Tuesday morning. Active school zones. Now you're going to see the school zone lights going off right now. Uh, DOT set theirs off yesterday. Uh, Big John uh, Smith for us, he's working on ours. Uh, they should be going here today. And uh, you, so from a, in the mornings, uh, the times are uh, very little bit. It's 7.20 to 8.10. It's about a 40, 45 minute window there. And then in the afternoons, it's just a little bit longer because uh, you have the kids getting out in staggered uh, times. So it's a little bit longer in the afternoons. But we just want to remind everybody, school zones start Tuesday morning. We're going to work them like we always do. Nothing changes with us. We work them all year the same. Uh, but the, the big thing is cell phones. Mm -hmm. You can be you can be driving 10 miles an hour, and if you're texting or talking on the cell phone, not paying attention, it doesn't matter if you're driving 10 or 50. Uh, you know, it's it's just dangerous to be doing that. So in the mornings and in the afternoons, try to remember um, cell phones and speeds in the school zones. Now, what we did on League Street at the new elementary school, which is the old middle school for everybody like me, is know that at the as a middle school for years and years but uh, we put flashing lights yellow lights up for South League uh, for the past few years it's just been a sign but we put mm -hmm. flashing lights up to kind of help folks out it drops down to 25 in there but still around the uh, elementary school is just regular signs there's no flashing mm -hmm. flashing lights so Lee Texas and Bell Street around the elementary school is is uh, 20 miles an hour and uh, so just be aware of that but it's not a flashing light so but the rest of them are the same as they were last year so mm -hmm. just rem reminding everybody to slow down and watch for the kids uh, yellow buses out there uh, the big yellow buses for a while yeah <laughs> they hadn't seen the big yellow buses for a while just remember that you have to stop uh, when the bus stops, the, the, the red lights are flashing. You have to stop, especially if you're meeting. Uh, do not pass the school bus. Uh, when you see those yellow lights, just get ready to stop. I mean, uh, it's just be safe, better to be safe than sorry with a school bus. And that fine for a school bus is pretty hefty. The state uh, kind of opened up the, the door for them to raise those fines up to, I don't know, around $500. I hadn't checked in in a while but it's quite a bit more than a regular class c violation so uh yeah school bus watch those things very closely children get off a bus they get excited they're likely just to run right across the street yeah especially in the afternoon now in the mornings they're kind of slow getting yeah. on the bus <laughs> they're not really too excited about getting on that bus but in the afternoons they're ready to get off so they get off and they go so just uh, be aware of that uh, any special emphasis around ECLC or the uh, new middle school? Well, the uh, new middle school and the ECLC are our biggest traffic problems. Uh, but uh, everybody that that goes to those schools knows about it. Uh, the new the new people, the sixth grade parents, and the kindergarten and and Head Start parents at ECLC, uh, they'll be giving instructions on that first day. They'll be giving handouts on. Uh, where they need to be, what times they're letting these things out, and how it works, and because theirs are pretty complicated. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, the first week we'll get it all ironed out, and it'll it'll smooth out and uh, be fine. I've noticed even on Travis, you know, with the parents coming in there, they're usually backing out into um, Main Street, so you just got to well, run they, all schools. You got to be careful. They, well, yeah, I mean that's what the school zones are for, and that's what they're designed for to slow people down and. Get off the cell phone, pay attention to, to what's going on because the traffic is a little gnarly through those areas. We've got so many kids going to school. Y'all gonna have any special officers uh, working around the schools or? Just the same as same as always. We'll have- um, Special patrols, I guess. No, no, nothing special. Just regular. We're just a regular, what, what we always do every year. And uh, it'll be like that all year. We won't let up. Uh, that's very, we take the school zones very seriously.